Well, and we'll dive into some of those examples. Dr. Mishuris, I want to bring you in. Tell me about the AI pilot that you're overseeing right now and what are you learning? Yeah, great. Thanks very much and, and great to be here. Um, so at Mass General Brigham, we currently have 800 of our physicians and advanced practice providers using artificial intelligence to help summarize their clinical visits. So a secure app on their phone um, or, or tablet listens to the um, clinical encounter with the patient and then summarizes that into a note in the electronic health record that looks remarkably like the note that I would have written myself, except that it's written in complete sentences, which I would never have done. Um, and, and what we're finding actually is, is many things. Um, first, that it's actually putting our providers back in the room with the patients. So I think for me, this is one of the very few, maybe the only times that I've seen technology actually improve the patient provider interaction um, where it's, it's actually getting out of the way, right? And, and getting us back to the bedside, if you will. Um, and so that's one huge benefit, both for our providers and for our patients who are noticing that our providers are no longer clacking away at the keyboard during their visit. Um, I think one of the things that we really want to understand through piloting this um, newer technology is the impact that it has on our providers' burnout. Providers across the country are, are burning out at kind of unprecedented rates, right? Over 60% of physicians across the country report some element of burnout. And that's just an untenable situation, both for them personally and also for the delivery of healthcare to um, the population. And anything that we can do to eat away at that will be incredibly important. I think what we've seen is lots of different kinds of programs trying to address personal resilience, workplace um, fe um, features and, and contributions to burnout from that. Um, but there is no silver bullet to burnout. And so maybe this is another tool that we have to, to really kind of address burnout particularly for our providers whose burnout is primarily or, or majorly from um, the documentation burden that we all experience.